It is trash picking day and trash picking for me in the past month, month and a half has been pretty bad, but I have seen into the trash future and I'm here to tell you that I finally found some good trash and a box with, I don't know what's inside. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for some trash picking and let's see what treasure has been put out for trash. license plate I actually just talked to the man and this is his sister's house she passed away of course he's like oh you should have been here two months ago we could have given you all sorts of stuff naturally a little too late Renee well we're gonna save this flag and um, dispose of it properly so we'll take that out no need for that to be in the trash Grab that too. I put the flag in there. Oh, I, there's a license plate. Let's make a little pile. Or we'll see how many stars that is actually. First. Yeah, I find more often than not that if I actually talk to the homeowner, Winnie the Pooh, they're they're pretty nice, you know. They're I've never had anyone yell at me yet. <laughs> I usually just tell them, ooh, um, that I'll put everything back. Oh, darn it. I wonder if that mug's in there. Those actually do kind of well. I'll grab that. Basket. What's this guy? Oh, that's fun. I wrote on our mug. I did find a piece of Pyrex in here, actually. I'll show that to you then. What's this guy? Looks like a, a quail. I'll grab that too. I think he's leaving. Let's put these aside. So here's the bottom of the pyrex. Some, like little gravy bowl thing. I don't know if that pattern is good or not, but I don't know if they're in here. Oh, they feel like they're full. These are like double. Oh wow! Chicago Cinderella, Best in the Beach Boys. That's awesome, Brian Adams. That's Fitz Mead's Trapper Keeper. I don't know what's in there, but we're gonna take that. These are like double sided. This is amazing. 80s haul. These will not be for me. These are for taco stacks. Because he'll be able to scrap these, and I think they're actually worth a decent amount of money and scrap value. in today well folks it was not bad I will take anything at this point besides scrap metal and mattresses that I cannot pick up if I still have the footage then I would have put in some um, trash picking that I did probably about a month ago at the home that I found the ceramic Christmas tree and the fire hydrant ashtray ashtray at I picked up from what I remember I think it was a license plate a roadrunner cup and maybe some other things so again if i have that footage that will be in there but yeah today i got the rotors i think that's what they are rotors and they will go to taco stacks last time that i found some he actually got a pretty decent amount for them which is great you know pick something up for him and then if he finds any vintage christmas he can pass it along to me <laughs> um the badminton badminton set it's a shame, it's in the original box, but the box is, was, was wet and drying out. It must, I don't know if it rained this morning or maybe they put it out before, but then they also had the original box for the hammock, 
Uh, there were some metal pieces in there. The net wasn't in there, so I also took the metal pieces. That might be a home that I might want to watch out for or continue to look at in the future, especially if they're putting out things in their original boxes. And speaking of boxes, the one-stop shop at the home that had these bad boys. <laughs> uh, I guess they're throwing out their whole collection. And I took it because we love cassette tapes. I only peeked in one. They are double-sided. Double-sided people. I don't know if I've ever even seen this case. It is your classic cassette tape holder case. The brown, the handle, but usually they're only in half. So we have double, double the fun. And then this box. I saw on the top something that said Mead Trap. And Mead um, was the company that did the Trapper Keepers. We're gonna look through this box after we take a gander in just one of the cassette tape boxes. I have to have some suspense here. It's been so long since I've had a video, uh, a trash picking video. So let's open these up. I thought to myself, can you imagine if instead of cassette tapes, these were record albums? That, that is like free money laying out in the trash. Even A tracks are becoming popular again. I don't know when cassette tapes are ever going to have their, um, you know, their, their time in the sun again. I personally love them. My old car before I got my new car a couple years ago was a Beetle, and it's had a cassette tape. So I was still listening to cassette tapes in the year 2017 in my car. And when I had to get my new vehicle for my new job that I quit. <laughs> My car didn't have a cassette tape player in it. I missed it. Okay, enough rambling. I don't need the scissors now. Let's see. Oh, this one. It's easy top. Steve Winwood. Oh my gosh, back in the high life. Yes. That's like my trash picking theme song. Oh my gosh. The finer things. Another great song. I need a cassette tape player for my car. We have Yes, ZZ Top. She's got legs. She knows how to use them. Um, so I'm thinking, you know, cassette tapes, there are collectors out there, and I think it honestly just depends on if it's rare, this is gonna work, or if it's, you know, perhaps like some group that their cassette tapes are collected. Now, holy moly, quiet riot. Bruce Springsteen, Tears for Fears, Pete Townsend, Rolling Stones. Can you see this? <laughs> Look at that. Oh yeah, Rolling Stones, what songs on here? Dirty Work, Sleep Tonight, Winning Ugly, Harlem Shuffle, David Lee Roth. Oh my gosh, White wham, ho oh, oh, ho, wake me up before you go-go. It's on there. Careless Whisper, he did that with a wham? I thought George Michael just did that on his own. Freedom. White Lion, Miami Vice, Van Halen, White Snake, Sting. Stand by me, oh my gosh. You wanna talk about a movie, this, Goochers. I think this probably resonates even more now as you get older. You know, there's that, I think, meme or the image that says when you were, you know, were a kid, you didn't know that the last time you went out to play with your friends was going to be the last time. You know, everyone gets older. Stand By Me is such a great movie. If you have not seen that, you must. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're, I, I fibbed. We're gonna check out another cassette tape one because they're so good that okay let's try this one. this is so much fun i need a cassette tape player now well i do have one cinderella phil collins chicago bangles oh my gosh brian adams this was the one that i looked at this is kind of awkward on my neck bon jovi boston bill cosby the best of bill cosby chicago cheap trick oh my the Flame, Eric Carmen, Aerosmith, Permanent Vacation, Animal House, Back to the Future soundtrack. I might have to look this one up. Best of the Beach Boys, Volume 1 and 2. Thank you. 
Back to the Future soundtrack. Have to give this one a gander. You know, I don't know if it's worth anything, but cocktail, orig original movie, picture soundtrack, the cars. Oh my gosh. I gotta get a CD, I mean, a cassette tape player now. I have to. I know I have one. Maybe it's still at my mom's house. I have to get it from her. Oh, I have my little Fisher Price one from when I was little. Guns and Roses, Sammy Hager, Europe, the fabulous Duran Duran, Def Leppard, Billy Crystal, Crowded House, oh man. Uh, something so strong could carry us away. Creedence Clearwater, Revival, Culture Club, <gasps> Fleetwood Mac, Culture Club. Karma, 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 chameleon. <laughs> Genesis, Farn, Grateful Dead. Good morning, Vietnam. I'm getting so excited over cassette tapes. Grateful Dead. Good morning, Vietnam. Uh, Daryl Hall and John Oates. Oh my gosh. Rio Duran Duran. Her name is Rio. All right. I promise we'll look through this. So, again, the top, it says Fitz Mead Trapper Keeper the hug so it, it might just be one thing it might be a collection of trapper keepers i don't think it's more cassette tapes it might just be paper who knows but we're going to find out man i'm excited that they threw all these out thank you made my trash picking day you know, it wasn't bags of 80s toys, but it was bags, cassette things of 80s tapes. Maybe trash picking, you know, the, maybe we're working up to another trash bag house. Gotta work slowly. I think this is someone's schoolwork. <laughs> Hope they didn't mind me taking it. It is. <laughs> That's so funny. What? I wonder if I know this person. Wouldn't that be funny? I do not. Accounting cover sheet. Well. Hope that it, hope that it might. Lenko, fifty-seven cents. Darn it. These are cool. Do they have anything in them? They do. Is there all their accounting like? Oh, they went into centenary. It's a syllabus. A printed syllabus. This is hilarious. Man. That's all it is, is paperwork. Still, oh man. Automated accounting for the microcomputer. <laughs> uh, don't know if we need that today. More trapper keepers. What is this? Sound ideas. More of them. Payroll accounting for microcomputers. Oh my gosh. This is a blast from the past. Are you ready, folks? I can't. <laughs> oh my gosh. 1986. Maybe, we, heck, this might sell online. You never know. There might be someone out there that has been looking for this. Nostalgia. There was centenary notebooks, so they went to Centenary College, which is in Hackettstown, New Jersey. Maybe they were like going through their basement. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A W is easy uh, bumper sticker. This is like the rock, the rock station. That's really funny. Stuart Hall, yep. These are all just notebooks in here. But hey, still provide us with some entertainment. 
here I was hoping it would be like, oh, we have baseball cards. Greg Gan Gag, um, I pronounced his name wrong. BJ Schur Schurhoff, Milwaukee Brewers, Will Clark, Marty Barrett, make sure that's recording, I get scared. Bobby Vanilla, Lance McCullers, and Alan Trammell. Oh, he's worth anything. That's funny. Huh. What year, what date is on these? It's gotta be 89. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> that was fun. We have to keep looking at this house. Maybe next time we'll put out their 80s toys. Please, please do so. But time it for when I'm there. <laughs> All right, we have one more to look at. Journey, kiss, kiss. Oh, it was right. Holy crap. They also love Billy Joel. Oh my gosh. Joe Jet. Wow. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Billy Joel albums. Uh, cassette tapes. Don Henley. Heart. Ugh. Look at these kiss ones. Crazy nights. Oh, they have no makeup on. Animalized Journey Greatest Hits. Don't stop believing. Wheel in the Sky keeps on turning. This is great. Cindy Lauper, Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Fun fact I sang that at karaoke when I was like eight years old. Yes. And last but not least, let's see what this side has. Joe Piscopo, Poison, Mr. Mister, oh my gosh. Kiri, Kiri, <laughs> down the road that I must travel. I think that's out. Mike and the Mechanics, does it have the living years on it? All I need is a miracle. Oh, all I need is a trash picking mir miracle. No. I think they did living years. Men at Work, Richard Marks, Madonna, Ozzy Osbourne, The Outfield. Oh, my favorite, favorite, favorite 80 song. Number one 80 song. It has to be on this. Your Love. That is my favorite 80 song. Number one. Up there. Love it. I want a shirt with that on that. That is staying with me. Pink Floyd. Poison looks a little bit the cat dragged in. Prince and the Revolution. Night Ranger. Sister Christian has to be on here. They sang Sister, Sister Christian, right? Motley Crue, Men at Work. Bam. Donna, True Blue, Oh Baby, True Blue. Papa don't preach. Ma Isla Bonita. And when the music plays. Billy Ocean, Ozzy Osbourne, The Outfield. This is great. I mean, it's not bags and bags of stuff, but to me, the stuff, this is so much fun finding these and reliving the 80s and the 90s. You know, what is the worth in these cassette tapes? Nostalgia wise, a lot. Um, there's some that I probably will look up, perhaps like The Poison and The Kiss, um, John Cougar Milner Camp, uh, just to see, you know, what, if there's any value, like with Motley Crue. If not, the ones that I do not keep, take them to the flea market, maybe be a quick flip. I might even look these up, these holders, and see, again, you know, cassette tapes, I don't know if they're ever going to have, you know, their, their second wind albums. It, if these would have been, oh my gosh, these would have been record albums of all these. That would have been a huge, huge find. But still, a lot of fun going through these, finding that floppy disc. Amazing. So it was a good trash day for me. 
not a huge haul, but a whole collection that someone decided to put out on the curb and I was in the right place at the right time and now they're mine. And I'm gonna have fun taking out the tapes that I wanna keep and listening to them again and just reliving the great 80s and the 90s. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this, this trash picking video. I'm really excited now. This gives me hope that perhaps over the next couple weeks, maybe trash picking will return for me. Maybe it can be like an 80s themed trash summer. That'd be great. Let's put that out there. We want to find 80s stuff in the trash. Last summer was, you know, 50s, 60s, 70s. Let's try 80s. We're going to put that out into the universe and see what happens. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you have not. I haven't reminded people in a while, but if, you know, who knows what will happen in the future of trash picking. We can only hope for the best. So you want to make sure that you're subscribed so you can always be in the know and be in tune for when I do find great stuff in the trash. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. I will see you all next time in the next episode here at Paper and Moose for the next adventure.